Hello everybody, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in uh, Base Engineers. I was going to play uh, Generation Zero tonight, but I said to hop back into uh, Space Engineers tonight. Uh, and to kind of pick up, pick up where I left off. So, last time I got this uh, mining vessel pretty well done. Uh, I do need to put a few more... I want to put a couple more thrusters on here because uh, I ran into a bit of a problem. So we're going to put uh, a couple more thrusters on to make sure that I have enough power on this thing to, to get back and forth. So I'm going to put uh, two more here on the back and at least two more up front uh, this way it should help control the uh, it should give me more power so that I can uh, really kind of utilize this uh, mining vessel other than that it, it worked pretty well so I didn't have too much problem with it I do eventually want to put an additional battery on it so it can hold the power and I also want to uh, put uh, get it to where I can uh, drop cargo or have a connector on it and stuff. So there will be some modifications that will need to be done. But I think that that's what I uh, kind of uh, need to do. I know it's not pretty. It's not uh, uh, a lot to look at. So... Uh, yeah, so let's see if I can uh, get a couple of more, get some more thrusters on it. So let's uh, do this. Ah, uh, thruster, thrusters. Uh, let's see. There we go. Ion thrusters. Uh, drop that right there. And, uh... I need steel plating. I probably need to go at least grab some of that. Uh, let's grab this steel plating. Uh, let's grab uh, a few of these. Go say a hundred. And I'm sure I'll be needing some other stuff. I can't remember what it is. Actually, I do. Uh, construction components. Uh, large steel tubes. And that should be it. Grab these. And construction components. Okay. Uh, put that there. Go oh, and put the other one on in the other side. And let's uh, weld these things up. All right, there's that one. There's that one. That should give me more power, especially when I get uh, get loaded. I think I'm still good with the up and down thrusters. I've got uh, four on two on each side, so that's four. So let's. Uh, but like I said, I do want to put try to get two more up front here, balanced out. I think what I need to do is get inside and uh, go ahead and. Oh, no. Up there. There we go. All right. Well, let's uh, release the parking brake. Let's bring this up a little bit. And that should do it. 
Let's hop out. That high enough for me? Yeah, that's high enough. All right. So I'm thinking I I don't know if I can or not. I was hoping I could put them right here under the. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if it'll let me do it. No, I don't think so. It's not going to let me put it where I wanted to. Uh, all right. So let's do. But I can't. Yeah, but I don't want to bring that out any further because that could get in the way. I'm not sure. And we put it on top. Uh, it's just not going to let me put it on there. Uh, and let me put it there. Honestly, don't want to stick that out any further. How about under here? It'll go there. Let's try that. Let's see how that does. And where did I put that? Back. All right, come on. Right to the edge of that. I, yeah, I didn't put it quite in the right spot. All right. Yeah, I hope that's not going to damage the drill. We'll give it a shot. Because it is... Yeah, we'll just give it a shot right there. Let's, uh, let's go and uh, try it out. Uh, first off, let me go get charged up. Oh, I could probably do that in the cockpit. And let me actually get rid of some of this uh, gear I have. Uh, let's drop that off. Those. Those. Rid of the steel plating. 
Uh, yeah, I think we'll be fine. We'll give this a try. Actually, you know what? I want to put a little more uranium in there. And let's just take uh, let's take another five point zero zero. Gonna give us plenty. All right, let's hop in. Take it out for a spin. Okay. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Let's do this. Control uh, panel. want to do this and do this. Uh, I want to make it a block group. Drills. Save. Okay. Now, let's see. I need my uh, G. Uh, where are they? Which, uh... Girls 3... Should have a, uh... Hmm. Meteor storm inbound. Oh, well, I guess we waited long enough. I uh, saved... Alright, let me do this again. Go to my control panel. I guess the storm's about done. All right, back inside. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. My block. E. Oh, maybe... Right. Inventory. Drills. Okay, so this is... Put that right there. Toggle block on and off. That's that. Let's pull this out, or actually remove, and my spotlights, uh, actually I need to, let me do this, uh, alright, let me do this, I want to do my spotlights, toggle those on and off. So let's go to control panel. Spotlight. Spotlight. Spotlights. Spotlights. 
save. Okay. G. Uh, groups. Drop this down there. And toggle block on and off. And let's remove that. And remove that. And I think that's what I wanted to do. All right. So now I should be able to hit one. Okay. And then two. Both spots are on. Okay. That's perfect. All right, let's back this thing out. What should we go after? Oh, we could fly out to that empty and then from there we can kind of decide on where we want to go. So let's turn these off. Let's see if that gives us a little more power. Get this thing going. We just got to remember to start slowing down soon. And then I see another asteroid we can go to over here. Hopefully, trying to find some cobalt. And trying to avoid the pirates. Slowing this down just a little bit. Put the dampeners on. I had an unfortunate incident at the end of the last uh, session. I didn't uh, slow down soon enough. So. Fortunately, all I lost was a uh, landing gear, and I was able to put it back on. But yeah, rather amusing there at the end.
Oh, well, hopefully we can find some cobalt. I think, I, like I said in the last uh, episode, uh, all I uh, was missing was cobalt, really, and plutonium, or not, yeah, platinum, not plutonium, platinum, and uh, it, uh, I'm not so concerned about uh, the platinum. Alright, I guess I slowed down just a little bit too soon. That's okay, we'll get it going here. There's another asteroid right on behind there as well. So we can just do some uh, prospecting out here. We will bring back a load of something, whatever it might be. I actually think I see something on the edge of this one that I probably missed. Though I do see some something there. It looks like gold. I see something else over there as well. Could be ice. Oh, I don't know if I could have. Could I get lucky? Blue. Of course, a lot of them are blue. Magnesium. Uh, I'm good on that. I need to... There's another... There was... Uh... Alright. We'll go ahead and mark it. And I need to go to EPS. Uh, turn that off. Turn that off. And turn that off first. And.
Okay, that's the one that I still have on, so that's the one I need to change. All right, go into GPS, and let's rename this to uh, Magnesium. Okay, and let's see, there was something else on here. Here I saw it up towards the top. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, there it is. Up there. There it is. Alright. Let's see what that is. Nickel. Okay. can't remember what the, uh, I don't know if it's NE or NK, but we'll go with that. All right. Well, shoot. Let's, another look but that's probably pretty much all that's on there although that looks like what is that is that just a shadow uh, yeah, looks like that might be just a shadow up there. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's head over to... Well, which one? Or one that's close? Uh, let's head over to that one. Or... Oh hell. Let's go up to that one.
we were finding a lot of useful uh, minerals, but cobalt is the one that I really want to get. The basis for quite a bit of uh, different uh, concerns, especially uh, uh, grids, metal grids. Let's see if this helps. Well, we're not quite close enough yet, but it should help. Well, let's turn those off. They're not doing much good, just wasting. Just kind of keep swinging around. Hopefully, it's going to pick up something.
Hmm. Oh, I think I see something up above up here. Looks like iron. Yeah, we have iron. Well, we can mark that on the map. Anything in here? Oh, it's got a hole all the way through, so let's uh, see if we can pick up anything flying through the middle of this. So far, it looks like all that's on this rock, it seems like, is iron. Now, there's some more iron right there. Yeah, I guess that's what we got here, is iron. All right. Let's head for that rock right there that's not marked. That's heading back towards base entrance anyway. Try to at least get all of the asteroids that's 
reasonably close before we really go too far out. Not sure how I missed this uh, asteroid to uh, explore. promising anyway. Large. Okay, slowing this thing down so we can kind of start uh, zeroing in on it. Okay, start slowing it down a little bit. All 
certainly not seeing anything jumping out. Start from the bottom and just go right to the top. You know what? I wonder. Maybe I turned that off. <laughs> Maybe I did have this. Oh. Yeah, I did search this just ever so slightly. I thought I would have looked at it, but I came up empty on it, so... I'm a little closer to it than I thought. That's something over there? Probably not. No, I think that's just, uh... Or is it? Where to deposit?
Well, if there's any minerals on this rock, it's they're buried in inside. There's nothing going up on the outside, that's for sure. really seeing anything on here all right so I need to the things I want to do is rename this so that's that let's see if we can figure out which one it is what's not that one It's that one. All right. Turn that one back on. And let's rename this to. Uh, empty. Number one. All right, and so yeah, let's throw that on the HUD. We can leave that one turned off. All right, well, where to next? Uh, that's empty over there. Let's see if we can find something in there. Surely there's got to be something in there. When I was uh, marking these as empty, I was just kind of flying around uh, in my spacesuit. So they're really... I had limited time on kind of searching them out. Just like that other one that was empty that we found. We actually... there was actually iron on there. I just didn't find it because it was far enough out that I couldn't spend a lot of time on it. It looks like we got a couple of other rocks that we can look at here as well <clears throat> that I haven't been to that it I don't know if that's just an illusion but we're going to go to that one next once we get done over here 
I just see blue tints on it from here. <clears throat> it could be ice, it could be pretty much anything. And it could just be that that's what I'm wanting to see, right? her up a little bit more.
Well, maybe this one truly is empty. Well, heck. Oh. That was, let's see. Signal for this one, base entrance. Empty, that's that one right there. All right. We're just going to name these so we know what's what. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's call that empty two. Empty number two. And then we can go ahead and call this one empty number three. Okay. Go ahead and turn that on just in case. Because the rock I want to go to, I think, is where to go. I think it's that one right there is the one I want to go to. Yeah. All right. Dampeners off. And let's set sail. I haven't been to this one yet. At least twice it's not marked with anything. See if we can get a little bit of speed to get over there.
So these are new rocks out in here that I haven't been to. So hopefully we will find something on these. Slowing down a little bit. I thought I would have picked up something.
don't see much of anything in there, that's for darn sure. I guess this is uh, empty rock number four. Get over here close and mark it. Two now, let's see. Uh, get out away from here a little bit. I thought there was another one. There's that one right over there. Yeah, let's go to it. Or no. Uh, yeah, let's just start. Go to this one right here. Then over to that one. Yeah. It stopped. So we can get a straight line. Okay, now let's take the dampeners off. Boy. I'd at least turn something up. And if it isn't cobalt. We'll go to this one and then that one up in the upper uh, left hand. Let 
if we uh, don't turn anything up, I think uh, here soon I'm going to just uh, head back to base and uh, start doing a little bit around there. This one might have a little bit of ice. I see something blue right there. Let's uh, have a little bit of good luck here. That beak some cobalt up. Uh, it looks like magnesium, actually. Cobalt! Oh, hot damn, this is what we've been looking for. Alright. I also see ice. I don't know how much is here, but we are going to, we're going to mine it. Alright, very nice. Let's uh, mark this on the GPS. Wow. Finally. Alright. New from current. This one. Cobalt. All right. Let's get over here in position. Let's uh, turn these on. And let's get us some cobalt. Inventory's doing. Uh, all right, cockpit is full. Uh, drill three is full. Drill two is just about full. Uh, medium cargo container is full. I guess we're full. I guess it's time to uh, head back. All right, let's turn our lights off. We don't need them on. And let's uh, back out of here. And let's find our way to uh, home base. 
just get up and away from the rock. All right, where is our base entrance? That's the one we want. All right, let's go turn that off. Let's see if we can get some speed going here. Now that we're full, Yeah, it's going to take a uh, slightly underpowered, I think, but it'll do the job. <clears throat> we found what we needed. We've got uh, cobalt. Now, actually, the only thing that I have missing, and like I said, is platinum, and so I'm not too in too big a hurry to to go get that. Okay. That. It was worth it. We finally found it and we got it marked. So that's going to give me the ability now to really start working on the base. And once I get this base into. All right, where is that at? Greater. Oh boy. Let's pick this up a little bit more so we can hopefully not cross paths with him. I sure the heck don't want uh, any gunships are coming at me. Just because I finally found some cobalt. I think we're good. As long as we don't get any closer than too much than five kilometers. starting to get farther away now so we're going away from them so we're, we should be good okay uh, that really kind of makes me happy This little uh, mining ship is gonna, gonna work pretty good. I uh, at some point, if I ever if I get this base the way I think it should be, 
you know, a, a huge monstrosity, then I'm going to need the ability to uh, have to mine more larger quantities. But for now, this is going to do the trick. So I'm going to have to, well, probably going to have to use this as some storage for the moment. Uh, I'm probably going to have to definitely build some larger storage containers. I think the next step is I've got to hollow that asteroid out a little bit more so that I can start pushing the base back and in. And then uh, we can... Uh, start kind of building up the base and then uh, really kind of uh, expanding it out. All right, let's see if I can get this thing slowed down better this time than the last time I came in with a load of ore. Not a pretty sight. actually think I'm, if I don't get slowed down I'll, I'll miss the rock anyway which is fine to the base here. Mm -hmm. 
find our hole in the wall. There it is. to get turned here. Yeah. All right. We should go outside. I will. Let's see. All right. So bring it down a little bit. Board. Forward a little more. Okay, let's come down. Bit forward. Kind of a tricky spot to get into. down bring her down We're in, we're down. And the gears unlock. Oh, it was auto lock. Well, that's what it is. All right. Let me go up just a little bit. And the gears unlocked. All right. Go up a little bit. Let's just lock them. And the gears unlocked. Oh, uh, see, I got one. All right. I got to fix these landing gears. Let's do that. 
All right. So let's go to control panel. Landing gear. Off. Landing gear. Off. Landing gear. Off. Now let's make all of these one block. Hey, Lone Wolf, good to see you. <laughs> it is a barge. Just a second here and I'll get out and kind of give you a, a better show of it. But yeah, it works though. I just uh, I, I just came back with a load of uh, cobalt. So give me just a second here. Uh, and we'll save this. We do G blocks, all blocks. Uh, landing gear uh, groups, landing gear. Put this down here. Uh, toggle block on and off. All right. So they should be. Let me uh, go outside the ship. All right, so. All right. Now, I should be able to get uh, three, and they should be on. Uh, let me go outside the ship. Uh, nothing really at this point. Uh, just a second here. Let me... Uh, okay, they're good. I'll get out uh, and kind of show you. Well, let me see if I can kind of show you a good, good shot from here. All right. Kind of hard to get around here in the camera, but... All I have, I have my landing gear, and nothing's really underneath the cockpit at all, other than some the initial blocks. Uh, here, let me get out, and I'll kind of show you from outside here. So, I got thrusters there and there. Uh, I had to put a couple more on. Uh, I just didn't have enough power. You know, I'm probably I am probably going to uh, do some remodeling on this uh, here in a bit. Uh, I want to do I want to add a connector and uh, probably put a battery on here. Uh, although the power is, is fine, I, I need to, uh, uh, but I do want to get a connector on here because I don't want to have to be uh, manually taking the uh, ore in and out of it. So I'll get a connector added on, and then, but that when I do that, it's once, once I have my base set up so that I can uh, start dropping uh, the ore in. What I'm probably thinking about doing is is on this for the refinery either adding a connector of some sort just a second here hold on Yeah, uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, plan on putting it in. I, you know, I'll have it all connected up, but yeah. So, it's taken shape. Obviously, this is not the final product, 
it's going to work for me so that I can actually get my base kind of somewhat built to where I want and then I can design my uh, uh, mining ship to really be able to handle that so uh, so yeah So, yeah, I did, but it uh, it did its job. I was able to get a full load of cobalt after I did some exploring today. I finally found some. And so now I need to go ahead and start getting that into the refinery. Well, at least get some of it into the refinery. Uh, under the cockpit. Let's see if we can see it under there. Well, I got metal blocks under there. I'd have to take the metal blocks out first, but let me uh, here. Let's see. Uh, we can do this. So yeah, there's a couple of uh, right. So the uh, uh, oh, the connector. Yeah. Uh, here, just a second. Right, so like on this connector here, this is what you're talking about, the connector, which has a large, uh, large port on it. Uh, let me go back to that cockpit, because I thought that was, uh, I was looking at the bottom, but maybe I was looking at the back. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, there's the bottom. So yeah, I could put the connector right on there. So that... Okay. So yeah, I can do, I can do that. Uh, that gives me some pretty good options on on what I want to do. So, here, let's see. Uh, connector, connectors. Oh, that's an ejector. Uh. So is that the small one? Okay. But I should be able to put that in underneath there and then uh, uh, I want to be able to build a... Uh, so I do want to get a connector on here to where I can unload it. I don't have to move it. Again, I want to uh, and then have a... Uh, connector uh, up to where it's dropping into a large cargo bay or cargo box and then uh, that way it can kind of feed into the refinery and from there oh and the connector oh I see what you're saying let's see 
So yeah, so the drill So putting that in under putting it in under underneath there and the drills can connect to the side just like only only underneath underneath the cockpit So I would want, I'd still want the uh, drills to be able to feed into my cargo box so that I can not just only carry back what's in the drills but into the cargo box as well. So yeah, I'll get it, uh, I'll get it figured out. But that's some good ideas on how to connect that up. I was thinking about putting the connector, ending up with the connector in the back and kind of re readjusting these thrusters and stuff and then that way I could uh, back in but on the bottom would work pretty well on the cockpit as well uh... let me get this cobalt into the refinery here All of my uh, ports, let's see. Oh yeah, so I've got, uh, right now I've got uh, connectors on the back, but I don't have them connected on, e you know, nothing connected on either side of the drills. Uh, so I've got that coming right out of the drill back, back in running alongside the storm inbound running alongside and then up into that junction that we put in there and then that's uh, feeding into the cargo box right now so all right Fortunately, I've been haven't had to worry about the meteor storms too much. Uh, okay. Well, let me at least unload some of this. Oh, you mean on, uh, on the oxygen generator and the survival kit? I think so. Because I connected the survival kit to the oxygen generator which is connected to the cockpit uh, so yeah they should all be connected up I had to flip my uh, oh okay Butts the cat's making an appearance. All right, so you're saying uh, I should be able to do this and 
be able to like drop ore into there. So yeah. Yeah, because it filled everything up. So I was able to drop. So everything is connected so that everything was completely full when uh, I uh, got done uh, uh, coming back. So, so when I drilled, it did fill up all of my available bases right now. So everything is connected. That's true. The cockpit is connected. So what you're saying is then it can just feed down and in through there. So, okay. Uh... It takes me a little bit. Sometimes I I catch on slowly. Not an engineer. <laughs> Actually, I had quite a bit uh okay i okay i see what you're saying then i could pull that pull those off the side i wouldn't need those uh, uh connector tubes that's true well but yeah, I would have to connect. I would have to connect the, uh, make sure the drills were connected into the cockpit. So right now everything's connected. Uh, because of the conveyor tubes, I have the conveyor tubes coming around. And they're connected back through to the cargo box. So everything's connected back through and everything's connected through to there. So I could... With the conveyor... Or the connector, put that in under. So with the connector, if I put that in under the cab, and then I put the drills connected into the connector, then then I would be able to. I wouldn't have to have these tubes running out of the back. Because it would all be connected. Right. Just it has one on this side, one on the other side, just like uh, just like that. And I could connect that up to the connector that's that I put in under the cab. Right, I wouldn't need that conveyor at all. That's right. Well, that'll be the remodel portion of it. So, so, but I do like that idea. And then that, that'll actually probably, that'll take a tiny bit of weight off the ship. And uh, I could maybe put my thrusters in uh, a little better position. Although they work pretty good today. I, I had to add two to the front and two to the back to give me more power. Uh, and so it, uh, uh, it worked much better today. If you watch the end of my last Space Engineers, uh, video, uh, once I got this thing built and I took it out for a spin, uh, coming back, I, I had a little mishap with it. Lost a uh, landing gear and had to replace it, which was fortunate. That was the only thing. So, uh, so it does fly like a barge, but it does work. So, uh, all right. Let's see. I know what I want to get in the queue going. I need to get some metal grids going. 
Well, let me at least do that, get that going. Since I have cobalt, although I don't know how much uh, space I'm going to have. Get a hundred of those going. Uh, I'm probably not going to have enough nickel. I have enough, I should have enough iron. I might have to go get a uh, run of nickel. I got quite a, quite a bit of nickel. Alright. Uh, I kind of wanted to survey. I'm thinking... Yeah, I want to build this base back into the asteroid. So... I'm thinking what I will probably end up doing is maybe actually using the drill to kind of drill some of that out so I wouldn't have to uh, do it all by hand. I'm probably going to have to uh, take these walls down, but yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do that uh, in the next video. I'm not, uh, I've been, uh, going since, uh, about, uh, quarter to six tonight, and coming on two hours, so I'll probably do that, uh, in the next one. I am going to have to play Generation Zero tomorrow night, but I'm probably going to Friday night be back in Space Engineers, and, uh, uh, do some Keep building. But I do have a miner that, that's worked. Uh, I do have to get some uh, more storage area built before anything. Although I do have a problem with the landing gear I can see because it's not locking like it should. Some is, some are, and some aren't. So, yeah, a lot of things to, to work on. I'll get that remodeled. Uh, and then I can... Uh, Kind of keep uh, keep building on it. That's that freighter. It's staying away. Oh, let's see. Uh, what do I want to do right now, though? I think... Uh... What was it I needed for this gravity well? Hard steel tubes, gravity... gravity components. I just want to get that in. What uh, what's it going to take for gravity components? Uh, where are they at? Reactor. Oh, silver, gold, and cobalt. So I have the cobalt now. I can make some of those. I have the iron. And, uh, probably need to go get some silver. Uh, oh, we've run out of uh, nickel and iron. All right, well, uh, I know what I 
want to need to do though let me check something let's see this one is half full and this one is eh, I got room I mean offload some of that cobalt Hey, Lone Wolf, you do the same. You have a good night. I'm going to call it good here pretty soon. I got to get up in the morning. I get up about 5.30, quarter to 6. So, so yeah, it, uh, it comes pretty early. So. so about now I start uh, kind of running out of uh, uh, focus. Uh, let me kind of sort these through to this. Uh, let's see if I can do this. These grids over here. And that's all I can get. So I guess I'll have to leave the rest of that stuff up there. All right, that's got this empty. those that have just that that's kind of joined and and uh, main reason that's built up the way it is it was protection from uh, it was protection from a, a gunship that hit me earlier that I struggled with so I was just trying to put some sort of defenses up to protect my base So now I'm just trying to, uh, I just kind of got a mining ship completed uh, at the end of my last uh, session and then I took it out. Not the best mining ship, Bone Wolf gave me some ideas on how to improve it. Uh, it's more like a barge but it does work. It uh, mines, I was able to pull in some cobalt. and. Uh, yeah, so it is, uh, I got that empty, I got, uh, got the cobalt in, so I gotta start, uh, kind of organizing this, and I know what I want to do, I want to, uh, start building this base back into the asteroid, so I got some better protection. Uh, because I know at some point the pirates are going to start coming after me. That's a basic assembler. I don't know. Uh, I don't have it hooked up into anything, and I don't think I can. Uh, I think I would have to... Yeah, it only has the front port, so... 
it would be nice. I will probably end up just building another assembler so I can keep my production going. But for the time being, I'm going to need some more steel plating. So let's get that going. I should have plenty of iron for the time being anyway. Uh... Go ahead and get that built.
okay, I don't know why they weren't unlocking, but All right, well, I know you guys at the end of the video are probably going to kind of wonder what in the hell is he doing. I was trying to get my uh, landing gear working properly. I think at this point it's 8 o'clock for me, and I am just about ready to call it good. So uh, with that, uh, oh, if you're watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. Uh, please hit that subscribe and thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And uh, with that... Uh, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next stream or video.